okay have you guys ever had to explain to someone what it's like living in new york to someone who doesn't live in new york or has never been there oh, and, the and, and you're like going through it and they're just like the look they give you when you're explaining it's basically like a third world country how you don't get laundry <laughs> you don't get a dishwasher uh hobos jerk off on the subway you just change the car like it's normal well see uh, that's the difference what do you mean are what you, do you mean you change are the you car? living in new york <laughs> are you living close to new york no or living in new york somewhere? is much different living in new york is a is a is a test of your character it's very difficult i mean i don't know especially if you live like in brooklyn or something you have to take like like one of those like long ass commuter trains like an l or something yeah and then you're like uh-huh. hey, i mean if you're living in one of the boroughs that's literally on like dante must die mode you know, I heard someone say that you always know someone's from New York because they'll mention it. They'll, oh yeah, of it's course. Like being oh, a yeah. vegan. Absolutely. Yeah. Well, people oh, always I, I, know yeah. it anytime I say water. They're like, <laughs> "Oh, you're from New York. Say water again." <laughs> my Shama's favorite. That. <laughs> my favorite is when people will be like, "Yeah, I'm from New York," and you're like, "Oh shit, really? Where?" And they're like, "Buffalo." <laughs> yeah, no, it's been like a year since I've been there. I still say I'm from New York. So, you know, whatever. You, you just got to I mean, keep you, it rolling. You grew up in New York. I did grow up here. New there. York. Yeah. I am from New York, literally. So I guess that, that counts. I was thinking about making a New York survival guide on TikTok. Like, <laughs> Uh, uh, for Chinese restaurants, go to the hole in the wall ones where you can barely read the text on the glowing screen. Um, mm-hmm. Go to when you go to karaoke, bring a Korean with you, or else they'll mm. dip you. And same That's thing true. with KBBQ. Or like when it comes to the actual sections of New York, you should be extremely discriminatory and as racist as possible because it'll be correct. For example, don't go to Brownsville. And, uh, <laughs> the, and the Jewish sounding Oof. places are tend to be, they do tend to be Jewish, like Williamsburg. Mm-hmm. So the names kind of like explain themselves or like Bronx. It sounds very, very like, I'm going to fight you. So like you know, back yeah. up. That's you don't true. even have to go to the Bronx to get the Bronx experience. You just the fact that that's it, true. You just the fact that the Bronx five six train, you get a little taste of it, right? Yeah, now. Oh, true, yeah. yeah. <laughs> go on the subway, <laughs> fuck around, find yeah. out. No, the fact that it's the only borough that's like has the in front of it, like the Bronx, <laughs> is, is is already enough to like let you know not to go there. Like fuck that shit. I feel like anytime I uh, go on the four five six, all I can think about is the meme of Goku being like going super saiyan be like i'm about to become extra racist <laughs> literally every time i step on those fucking trains oh that's me that's me every morning in the mirror that's the first thing i say <laughs> <laughs> gotta power up dude nothing even has to happen you just got a white power fucking... up that is <laughs> you just look at the cast of characters on the four five six train and be like yeah i'm feeling extra racist right now <laughs> i just want to say a lot of things that would turn me into Swiss cheese real quick on this train. Every time yeah, I feel yeah. like saying something racist, I put a quarter in a jar. James probably has about like 10 hundred filled jars filled with quarters. <laughs> what are you what are you kidding me? He's gonna buy his house with those fucking quarters. <laughs> exactly. Way. He got that's he has a, he has mouse to feed now. He's got a fiance. Yeah. That's this that's and, another and thing, having to explain to people who aren't from New York, like having to explain, oh yeah, the trains don't work half the time, and it'll be the D train on the Q track. <laughs> Um, oh, that's but on the weekends, worst. sometimes it'll pass your stop, oh, and it's like, don't even get me fucking started on the queue. God damn it! That's and, like, and the and please don't say the D, dude. Oh, uh, when they when, you, the when they have the track the train, and train, oh yeah, and train goes crazy. <laughs> why is why is that one the worst? <laughs> <laughs> I told you, you have to be discriminatory with the names in New York, right? You know? Of course. <laughs> I think there's more times that I I think pretty much almost every time Terrence comes to visit me. He complains about the Q train yes. without fail every <laughs> single time. the Jews on there. Okay. The Q train's filled with the Jews. So. You're going to have to explain because everyone says the Q train's the best one because it's the fastest and it gets it right fast. fast. Would have fooled me. Could have fooled me. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, it takes like you're waiting 10 minutes for the queue every single fucking time. Yep. Without I'll, fail. I, I'll uh, I'll text you tomorrow and uh, I'll tell you how long it takes me. <laughs> yeah, the Q, the Q train does kind of suck. It's like a like a fifteen to sixteen minute wait. All the what? yellow ones. I don't, in I don't defense, like any of the yellow ones. In defense of the N train, much like its namesake, it is quite fast. Yeah. So <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Yeah, but you would think that the N train would always be late. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'll tell you one thing: it never works. <laughs> <laughs> Oof. I will oh give God. the Q train credit though, <laughs> because it doesn't go higher than 96th Street. So let's just say <laughs> it never gets that train. dark on that train. Yeah. <laughs> Even if the lights go out, it's still not very dark. Yes, the Q train is absolutely the race is absolutely like boomer mom train. 
It doesn't get any darker than that ever. Well, what about the L train, though? It doesn't even work half the fucking time. Like on the weekends, it's like, oh, sorry, you can't take the one train that's near you. It's like, oh, you're just fucked. Go take a bus. Yeah, that's why I give it out. That's why I would never live in fucking Brooklyn. One of the many reasons I would never live in Brooklyn. But like, imagine relying on the L. Remember when they were like planning to shut down the L? Uh Oh, yeah. I was like, yeah. absolutely. I was living in Brooklyn. <laughs> so the only there. train in that area to yeah, get that to Manhattan. People would just be stranded. <laughs> I remember walking. They did that. Oh, sorry. Go ahead. Oh, yeah. No, I also lived by the M and all that shit over in like, what is that? Ridgewood? Uh, Ridgewood? And, oh, you uh, lived in Ridgewood? Yeah. That's like yeah. Queens almost. It's like, I was in Bushwick. So, you know, it's like. Bushwick is Queens. So yeah. Fuck yeah it's practically <laughs> Queens. Yeah. Fuck yeah. that shit. Yeah, and yeah, there. on the weekends, like half of them just wouldn't, like, it would switch between like the M or the L. And this is like one yeah. day it's just not going. It was just. Uh, horrible you like flip a coin to see what yeah. train is gonna show up and when yeah, like at I that know, like, point blocks apart at that point just live on fucking long island yes yeah, honestly yeah actually yeah. do, do yeah. you remember james when i tried to get over there and the train just randomly broke and then i had to uber the other half yep no there's no compensation you already paid your train fare it's like nope go fuck yourself yep. mm. yeah, yeah. When, <laughs> whenever you visit and you stay with your what is it, your grandma uh i stay at her house okay yeah, yeah, it always takes you fucking forever to get here. Yeah, from Brooklyn. Same thing with Sade mm. and Justin Wang, because they live in, like, what, Ridgewood? Bro, it takes Sade, yeah. like, five days to get here. I, <laughs> oh, Ridgewood, got, fucking, yeah. The other night when I left your place, I left at, like, fucking, like, 1.30 in the morning. Do you know I didn't walk into my front door until 5 o'clock? In the <laughs> yeah, I was just about to say. <laughs> just <laughs> married Christ. Like, just... I've been there so much. I've, been that, I've had that shit. happen so many times coming just... from Manhattan to the Brooklyn. Oh, like it's literally faster God. unironically i used to like i'd rather stay in connecticut than brooklyn it's faster to go it like you have more options you can get home faster from yeah yeah i could take an amtrak exactly. yeah. it takes terrence yeah. less time to get home and he lives in fucking long island yeah brooklyn is unironically worse than living in connecticut the, the best part about brooklyn is that if you're in south brooklyn and you want to go to north brooklyn you can go fuck yourself because you're going <laughs> into manhattan because because yeah. you're going to take a train into the city and then come back into brooklyn is there a bus you don't want to ride yeah, that. You don't want to ride the bus. Yeah. Are you out of your fuck? mind? Let me tell you, since <laughs> I moved back to New York, mind? I basically never rode the bus and I refuse to. Like, mm-hmm. that is a different. Like, you think the people on the train are bad? At least you can change the car. Yeah. Like, the you bus, can't you're change stuck. on the bus. Yeah. Well, yeah. the thing, the thing I, is that I take the bus on one specific bus, though, because there's one that goes up First Avenue. So I'll take it when I'm drinking in the East Village. And mm. it literally drops me off at the corner of my apartment. Oh, all right. Well, you have a, you have the, yeah. you have the yeah, it's, it's the only bus I ever fucking take, and it slaps. I've so my experience with the bus is like batting a hundred. I'm like, yeah, yeah I love. The try, bus. How about how about try taking a bus through East New York and get back to me? <laughs> Tell me how you feel, <laughs> bro. If you take a train to East New York too, it'll be just as bad. It's East New York, first of all. Did yeah. I ever tell you guys about the time where? Um, so I used to uh, walk dogs on this app called Wag. Oh and, my god! <laughs> and th- this was like this was like fucking forever, girl. The like, Wag I, era arc, damn, yeah. that's a deep cut. When was when was that? Like what? 2014, 2015? No, no, we were out of college by then. Okay, so like it, 2016. I was out of college by then. Yeah, it so was probably yeah, it was probably 16, 17. That. Yeah. So I was on this. It's essentially like Uber for dogs, right? And yeah. hmm. I made the mistake. There was no walks in Manhattan. So and I wanted some money and I just I picked one in Brooklyn, not zooming in enough on the map. Mm. And when I walked out, I was in East New York. And mm. let me tell you, I was not happy about it. You walked out into Brownsville? <laughs> Pretty yeah, much. Surprising, yeah. Dude, I know that it was during the day too. East New York and, is dang and is like and that's I was where like, people damn. still get shot. Yeah. You could actually still get shot there, which is I need to pull amazing up, in New York City. I need to pull happens. up a picture of the 7-Eleven. You know what? You know what the problem is? The problem is is that James, he's got like the shortcut and he kind of looks like fetish. So mm. they're gonna look at him and he's a target. Whereas like mm-hmm. I could walk all day through the hood and everybody looks at me and just assumes I'm there to buy drugs. So you look I have Puerto a Rican, wonderful thing. <laughs> they just think you're Puerto Rican, honestly. They're just like, oh yeah, it's it's that it's that like light skinned Puerto Rican kid. Well, the good thing is at least I'm tall. That like if I was short, forget about it. It'd be fucking ogre so fast. But mm. also, that, I guess that, that was in my twink era. Or yeah, so, you, uh, twink you were era? Well, transitioning from twink Yeah, you era. were transitioning out of the twink era. Yeah. That's very the, brave. The twonk era, I gotcha. Dude, I looked so fucking bad back then. The pictures, it doesn't even look like me. 
when you look at the pictures. Okay, what, here the, we go. Uh... Okay, it was 2016. Hold on, I got I gotta screenshot this and then pull it up on stream because this is really fucking funny. This is what Picture 7 Eleven. What? Oh, the Seven Eleven. Gotcha. Yeah, what Seven Eleven in the hood looks like. Uh Apparently, tornadoes come with thunder, lightning, and rain, too. That's oh, fun. yeah, they come with all kinds yeah. of shit. Really? It's, it's you mixed... thought it would just be the tornado itself? <laughs> just wind? Yeah. It's mixed weather. It's hot and cold coming together. Oh. See, see we don't you. approve of mixed weather in this house. <laughs> <laughs> we like to keep them all separate. You, yeah, you would hot. think I would know about that, right? Yeah, right? I don't know. I, I, yeah, I guess you're be more mixed than I am, technically. All right. You jealous? A little bit. You, you're like you're like you're like a whole. You're like a uh, 7-Eleven slushy. Vers, which half are you <laughs> jealous of? Uh, I don't know. I, I don't even know. She got too many halves. She's like <laughs> she has like she's like fourteen things. And black's like the least of them, right? <laughs> yeah, she's not, like, not even really black. You look. You're like kind of black. You're, you're like black enough. My my mom was black though. She was like your skin tone. Yeah, that's the thing. Cause you're like my your mom's like light skin. Like so, yeah. it's not the it doesn't really hit the same. Pretty right, so Steve Urkel black. So, so this, what the, that's what? 7-Eleven in East New York. Oh God! I'm sorry. Is that from like 1945? <laughs> Bro, calling your bodega 7-Eleven is powerful. That's so, that's so funny. They don't did have they, real 7-Elevens. They just have bodegas that are named 7-Eleven. Did they cut off? Did they cut off the ATM shot sign because it's not there anymore? Yeah, they, <laughs> they got stolen. Holy shit! You walk inside, it smells like fucking cigarettes, and they have like 25 cent coffee. That's Absolutely. like stale as shit. Dude, the, room, the the way I was able to find that photo was because I remember posting it on my old Instagram because I was be so this... fucking bewildered by it. <laughs> there used to be this bodega near me that like had this like midget that would hang out by in front of it with like the with like his weird like like carny looking friend and they would like smoke cigarettes. And I, I used to go there all the time because I it's the only place you can get Yu-Gi-Oh booster pack packs in the area. <laughs> so I'd be like 10 years old walking over there. Like, what the fuck is this, like, tatted up, like, midget, like, tatted up from head to toe? I was like, what is happening with this, like, carnies? Well, smoking cigarettes in my face, but it always scared the shit out of me. But I was like, I guess I could take him, you know? Like, he's not going to, he's not going to beat me up. <laughs> I How got him. How old were you feet. at 10 years old? No, I guess I was 12 because I was, like, in middle school. Uh, I was, like, I was already, like, my height now. I, I had my growth spurt, like, immediately. First, verse, <laughs> verse was sizing up odd job outside his bodega. <laughs> <laughs> Exactly. It was fucking twelve year old verse versus hot job. <laughs> <laughs> you could have taken him. I, I could have taken him, of course, but he looked kind of scary. He looked like he'd fucking like you know play dirty. Scariest, uh, scariest bodega experience I ever had. I was on a that was right by like the Fordham Lincoln Center campus. Oh yeah. Um, at, like so, like Amsterdam Avenue, like 59th mm -hmm. Street, Columbus Circle type shit. And my friends and I had just spent like the, the majority of the day tripping on shrooms. So we decided that we were going to go get food. And there was this bodega that I hit up all the time. That was great. They had like good sandwiches and shit. And we walked in at maybe like one thirty in the morning, completely still whacked, like had no mm -hmm. idea which way was up. And we walked our way right into the middle of an ongoing crack deal. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> Uh, and I, I have a sneaking suspicion to this day that if we hadn't been totally stoned, that we probably would have been stabbed. Yeah, but I'll right. tell you one thing. Oh, because like we walked in and it was it was clear that we had no idea what was going on. We were like 18, yeah. Yeah. like no concept of the danger that we were in. Our friend who was a drug dealer had every idea. He left immediately. He walked in and walked right the fuck back out. <laughs> what time was Gotta it? Gotta go. It's like, like 1 1.30. Yeah. Like a.m.? Yeah, 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 yeah. No, no, just early afternoon they were dealing crack. Uh, I know you never know what crack is, I guess. That is, is a, a good couple point. years ago. No, but they had the whole shop like posted up. They had the guy at the back to take the money. Uh the mm, woman was at the shit. sandwich counter with the dude with the trench coat, and the guy with the trench coat had the shit. They do that. What I learned from my drug dealer friend is that they do that so you can't catch them on camera handing over the money and receiving something. Mm. So as far as the law enforcement is concerned, I came in and I gave somebody fifty bucks. And then somebody mm -hmm. else just handed me some shit. I don't know what it is. I didn't buy anything. Uh, the Bodega these... Trap House. Wow. I like it. Yeah, yeah. It was it was crazy. I remember asking <laughs> if the grill was on, and the guy was like, "No." <laughs> <laughs> and my and my friend looks over at me, and he's like melting and shit. I don't, the only thing I remember him saying was, "I really don't want a sandwich anymore." And I thought, "Yeah, me neither." <laughs> Why do they not Good just times. like close up shop while it's happening? I have no idea. Why do the cameras even matter if it's like the? I'm assuming it's the owner that's 
Or it could be one of the workers. It, yeah, it could be just a worker who's set, like, because, like buying inside. crack though at your job. I mean, that's got to, or selling crack. I mean, he's selling crack at his job. He's doing his job at his job. I'm not you saying know? that I know anybody who's sold drugs, oh, but I'm oh, just so saying the, wait, that there the are many places to selling, sell them. Wait, the bodega guy was selling the drugs? Uh, yeah. The, yeah, the guy behind oh, the counter was okay, the one that who makes set it way up. More sense I've absolutely that. seen people sell drugs at their job. But uh, I've mm -hmm. also, like my bodega used to sell weed. because my, my roommate told me, I was like, what the fuck? He's like, yeah, because I don't smoke weed. So my roommate's like, oh, yeah, yeah, he sells me weed every morning. I'm like, how the fuck? He's like, I get a bacon, egg, and cheese and a joint. And I'm like, oh, okay. I didn't know that they just like, they just could tell you were a pothead. He's like, yeah, he asked me if I wanted to get any weed. Can I take the early bro special, please? <laughs> yeah, he never asked me if I wanted weed. I guess I look like a fucking cop or something. Can I get a, can I get a bacon, him? egg, and cheese with lettuce, please? <laughs> yeah, bacon, egg, and cheese, exactly. They know that the the light skins are are narcs. So. Yeah, that's what it is. But also, he looks like a, like he looks like he's a pothead. He kind of like walks around like with his head in the clouds. So I guess they could tell. That's another thing, actually, I was just reminded of that you'd have to explain to someone not from New York. Yeah, good luck finding a bathroom. You have to just p piss on the street. <laughs> like That is true. Oh, yeah. Wait, so every, other, every other state besides New York is India? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, no, to... uh, San Francisco and L.A. are also India. True, true. Now, you have to go to hotels. That's a trick. Because hotels can't really assume that you're not a guest. Yeah. And they always have a yeah. bathroom. So I was running to the hotel. That's the that's the real deep cut. I went yeah. to like department stores, like if there is one nearby. That was mm. my go-to. But also, like if you look normal and put together, like me, they'll just let you <laughs> use the bathroom anytime. Kind of depends where. It kind of depends how busy of an area you're in. If yeah. you're in like a like down, like I always have to go from like downtown. It's never like in the middle of like. Like, you know, Upper East Side or something like that. Not even that. I'm talking like downtown, midtown, anywhere. I find that if you walk into an establishment with your hands in your pants and your shoulders hunched, they don't ask you any questions. It <laughs> seems to be the go-to. Mm. The, the stealth mode. Yeah, you gotta go stealth mode. It's yeah, like I find, I find if you put a ski mask on and walk in, <laughs> very, just very, very just like a lot I of hear... like... Attend, like a lot of like you know charisma that they like absolutely let you do whatever you want yeah from my experience you if you pull a gun stat. if yeah, you pull get a that gun wrist they'll on show ten. you the bathroom <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> exactly if you pull out a, if you pull out a block they're just like oh yeah here you go here you go sir you can use the bathroom whenever you want yeah you what just rob a hotel and just the only thing you do is just give me the bathroom or i'll shoot you give me the bathroom <laughs> right now <laughs> give me the bathroom i'm gonna piss on the floor or like i'm mad if you like you Imagine if you like you had a gun on you, but you like really had to shit your pants, but you're like downtown, and there's like there's no public bathroom, and you're like genuinely. <laughs> it's like, bro, I'm gonna shit on the floor. <laughs> what if instead of the Riddler, he was called the Rizzler? And, oh yeah, and he was. I like this. Was, and he was an incel, right? And he's like, "Rizzle me this Batman," and he's like testing Batman on how he would pick up girls, mm. and he's just using it to to take notes the whole time so he can try. I like it. Batman I mean, in all honesty, the Riddler is a fucking incel to begin with, so it's kind of yeah. what He's a literally... fucking loser. Yeah, let me make a suit out of question marks. That'll be fucking cool. <laughs> Come on, you're telling me that Jim Carrey Riddler didn't fucking sling dick all day? Do you Absolutely understand yeah. his fucking maybe his in fucking... his maybe in his big riddle costume? <laughs> Yeah, his fucking evil power is the same as a fucking fourth grade English project. <laughs> 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 Fuck, he's gonna make me do conjugations next. Brittany, comment. <laughs> if Christian Bale was a bank in 2008, his name would be Jewish Bale. <laughs> <laughs> it took me a second. Okay, okay, I like that. <laughs> me and Mick have been uh, we started brainstorming some skit ideas. Oh yes, mm. this is true. How does that relate to cancer? <laughs> because the the Aryan activist that gets mistaken for a cancer oh, patient. Oh right, yeah, I forgot that mm -hmm. I wrote a bunch. <laughs> yeah, that's like the best idea we've had so far. I do still like the Jew cops, though. I think that's that, that's also a good one. Where um, instead of uh, for you know like the Shoreham, uh, show show Shomrim is that how it's pronounced? The like the volunteer Jewish police officers in like Brooklyn. <laughs> I didn't know. I didn't know they had those. They wait, wait, wait. exist. They're not oh, wait, 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 back up, back up. Did you just say volunteer Jewish in the same sentence? Yes. Yes. Oh wow. That's Here, actually wait. Like, oxymoron. Well, it's for their own well, people. Yeah. Yeah, oh, they're they're, they're like a, oh, never it's a Hasidic thing, I think. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Early. yeah, they also have their own ambulances. Don't you remember Crown yeah. Heights I do remember riots? That. They yeah, got yeah, mad because they wouldn't help the black boy. Yeah, see? Oh, the Fuck. showroom. Wow. The Not another showroom? Wait, really? Wait. 
Wait, hold up. You got to pull up. Uh, they have the wow. Muslim Community Patrol, too. Yeah, I didn't, <laughs> that one I didn't know that. about till you told me. Yeah. Wait, wait, wait. wait. They, they have their own ambulances? Yeah. Yeah. So is the siren just, oy vey, oy vey. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, no, he's hurt. <laughs> like, isn't this fucking insane? This is hilarious. I like, like their fit, the though. It's in the police symbol, too, and it's just safety patrol. I like their, their fit. It's kind of fire, though. So, like, can they arrest people, though? A citizen's no. arrest. Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. Making your own <laughs> citizen's arrest. What the fuck is this photo? The, meet the sh- Shamrim. The I don't know. Hasidic volunteer so far, cops who answer to nobody. So far, this is some pretty positive PR for the Shamrim. <laughs> <laughs> like, look at these guys. That's, that's a fire fit, though. It's it's good to know. Though. It's good to know that they're as out of shape as regular cops. <laughs> like, look at look. Come on. <laughs> oh, no, they put they the all the eye? I no. know. Why would they do that? <laughs> why would they do that? You know why. <laughs> I do, but come on. Like, bury the lead or something. That's... <laughs> like, look at... <laughs> yeah, they so, don't fuck around either. They're dangerous. Look at that guy oh, in his man. arms. He's like, oh. I got it. I got it. Mm-hmm. I, can I say the 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 Jewish N word? Can we take a look yeah. at the background of that image? Like it's two black gentlemen, uh, upstanding citizens with the police, and then the Jewish guy like looking around, pouting. Like, <laughs> like oh, you can kind of tell what they happened. Let them into my community. The oh. thing is like, yeah, right. The, the neighborhood has gone to shit. You ever go? I went to uh, what's the name of the. Crown Heights? Is it Crown Heights where it's like all Jewish people? And they You're have like thinking Borough thing. Park, maybe? There is no, a part where Borough. it like intersects between like it goes from very black in that part of yeah, Brooklyn to like, to like suddenly Jewish. Jewish. They got yeah, yeah, that Baltimore part. too. Like, yeah, that place is sick. in every Hasidic community. That's... It's like literally a street over. Like you move like one street, it goes from like the hood to like literally like yeah. everyone's walking super Jewish. And like, like a you go to the yeah. pharmacy and they oh, yeah, have like things that aren't Jewish. I gotta say the Muslim community patrol has better cars. Okay, what are they called? They're called the Muslim Community Patrol. Oh my that's god, that is actually what they're called. I yeah, my neighbor. This. That's another thing that's specific to New York is like you turn Patrol one reviews. street and it's a new race. The like MCP where I used baby. to live, the MCP like that. Dude, baby. That's crazy, they get away with making it look just like cops. It's cars. it's the same model cards. It has to be like that's very strange that they're allowed to do that. Yeah, yeah it you would seem think like it would be problem. called impersonation, right? You would yeah, think, right? an officer is like absolutely a problem. <laughs> Like it's but, it's literally the exact same. But you know what's crazy? If you get like citizen arrested, that like virtually means that you were innocent. Like any actual criminal would just like sh- shoot you, punch you, run away. Yeah. Like, to get citizen arrested say, is like should be like literal like proof that you're not doing anything wrong. The one thing yeah, that the true. MCP has over the Shamrim is that at least they don't have to buy balaclavas. They already got them. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> this this reminds me of like a Nathan for you episode. Like the plan pretend to be cops so that we can protect the Arabic neighborhoods. Like this literally sounds like a bit. When it comes Brooklyn when it Asian comes... safety patrol. What? You gotta yeah. You gotta um uh, what's a what's when the, it comes what they to the MCP, the... it's nothing for Yahudi. <laughs> when they were trying to like promote like black and Asian what was it? Stop Asian hate? That's what it was. That's what it's about. Yeah. yeah the stop Asian thing. hate. That thing was very funny because it's like no one really is hating Asian. That actively pissed me off because like who who who's who's doing this? Nobody. Like, it's not really make, black people either. It would like, make black sense. Want the Chinese food still? And yeah, I was about like, to say like, it, would, it would make sense if it was stop Chinese hate. Yeah. But stop Asian hate as a whole. But also, well, I, I, honestly, I think that's what it was about. I think it was just about Chinese, and they used Asian as the umbrella term. Yeah, they yeah. they did. But I don't. I, I don't. I don't often commit hate crimes and stop midway and go. Excuse me, are you Korean or Chinese? <laughs> <laughs> Mick, you're really ter- just a visual thing. Mick, you're well, terrible any, racist if you can't tell. Did they them ever apart. have any? But here's the thing, though. Was there even one hate crime? Because I don't. Normally they would have. Yeah, like, I, I think this guy beat up like an Asian old woman and almost like beat her to death. And yeah, that, but like, was that specifically? I, I think Terrence has made a lot of verbal hate crimes against the Chinese. If we're counting that. I've yeah. said nothing of the sort. Well, the thing is, I saw stop Asian hate trending, and everyone was like, "I don't see any Asian hate," so I felt like it was my responsibility to make sure that that hashtag had meaning. Mm, you know, Jesus Christ. You're, yeah, you're doing your you're doing your help. Your, uh, your doing my due duty. diligence. Yeah, yeah, exactly. You're gonna so, give them something to cry about. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> give me something to cry about. So for the Shomrim cops idea, instead of bad boys, 
bad guys, bad guys. Of what course, you gonna yeah. do? <laughs> what you gonna do when they snitch on you? Bad guys, bad guys. Oh I think the best. So I think wait, the best... wait, 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 wait. Who would who would be the actors in that? It would have to be. Well, obviously, I would be one of the Jews in that because I do the voices. No, no. I mean, like you an look actual Jewish, Jewish, Jewish Hollywood actor. Oh, Hollywood actor. Oh. So, like, yeah, would yeah. I pass as the Jew or the black? Because I feel like I'm kind of in between. Like, I have the curly hair mm-hmm. and, like, I complain a lot. But, like, also, that. like, I'm part black. So, I don't know. You got that Kravitz bloodline in you. That's what you, you got that Lenny Kravitz bloodline in you. <laughs> That's oh, a vibe yeah, I mean, right now. You could technically, you could definitely be like a black Israelite, I guess. <laughs> mm. Yeah. Lick the dust thing? off my boot. The black, the black Israelites? Israelites? Of course they are. Yeah. Oh, you never you know seen the black the, You never saw the clips of like, lick the dust off my boot and the See, white here's people the lick their boot? No. Terrence, Terrence oh, come on, on Terrence. Island. You have to. Oh, he lives on Long Island. They don't have. So he's there. not real New York. <laughs> black Israelites are the best. You got to go. They go on rants about, you know, about the uh, you know, just like America, black people were the original Israelites, Jewish people were, like stole the land from them, shit like that. Like you know, it's essentially whole... it's proto we was Kangs. Yeah. Like it's it's that. but it's a little like, bit. Di- it's slightly different because it's like they have like a whole like they like they like they yell at you like they, I think yeah. the um the because like the artist in Islam they do like they have like the we was Kang stuff but they don't like go on the street like be like, like you on the white monkey yeah they don't get on the mug- megaphones that's the thing no. and they like hate each other. Yes. Arson was like a scholar in this. I, I wish I need I need Arson to I so badly want the black Israelites to be right. About what? Just about being that, the original Israelis? Yeah. That would just rule so hard. Of course, yeah. They were the original Israelis. And then uh Yakub made the white man. We know this. Imagine the songs Kanye would make if that were the case. Oh, oh yeah, no. a black Israelite. Yeah. He would hit hard as a black Israelite for sure. <laughs> he would hit hard as a black Israelite. It's kind of I'm kind of mad because he already has black skinhead, right? Yeah. The black Israelite song will go kind of crazy. I need that alternate timeline of of Kanye being fucking my, holy hotep. My, my beautiful dark <laughs> twisted <bat> mitzvah. <laughs> <laughs> no, I got the Game Boy Color for the first time. I actually, unironically, I stole it from this kid. I didn't mean to. I didn't mean to. I was just like, <laughs> he left it on the fucking. Like on an arcade machine at a movie theater, and he I left was it like, in his back pocket, and I was so tempted. <laughs> I just fucking snatched it. No, he left it on the top of like a like a racing game arcade, and I like looked at it, and I'm like sitting there. I think I'm like waiting for my parents in the bathroom, and he like walks out with his family, and and I'm still sitting there for like five more minutes, ten more minutes. And I'm just like, I don't think he's coming back, and I'm right here, and I'm like, set, I guess six, seven. I'm like, ah, oh, fuck it, this is mine now. And that's how I got my. <laughs> that's how I got my game. Say? My my parents, my parents honestly didn't even notice. They just. <laughs> They're like, oh yeah, like the game, the Nintendo. Yeah, you got the Nintendo. They don't, I couldn't, they don't I couldn't I help but take it. It was right out there in the open. No, they didn't even. They, they had no different to them. It was the same Nintendo that they bought me. So they were like, oh yeah, fuck it, yeah, Nintendo. You played the Nintendo. I mean, you did wait at least. It's you. Know. I did. Wait. I genuinely was like, look, I think he's gonna. But it's, I saw the car leave. And I was like, okay. Oh good. damn. And now, yeah, I, I mean, at, at that point, it's like, it's not really your fault. They left. So yeah, I mean, he probably would have came back for it, so I probably yeah. should have left it. But that know. was like probably like chaotic neutral on the yeah. alignment chart right there. I like yeah, so, yeah, exactly. Yeah, like chaotic neutral. it was he. The kid forgot it. They left already. It's like it's like very gray, it, but it's like I gave it a minute. Sick, I gave so. it a minute. You know, I gave it some time, and I had it, enough conscious thought to go. Let me just. Let me wait and see. You you had enough conscious thought to know what I'm about to do is wrong, but I'm gonna. <laughs> I'll give it a few I'll minutes. Make myself feel better. <laughs> Basically, yeah. I'm first being good better person. than other black people by being like, look, I'm not gonna just steal it outright. I'm gonna wait and see if he comes back for it first. first that's the half black. In, that's the half black in me. That's like, oh okay, wait, wait, the wait, most- wait and see. <laughs> first with the most fucking half-ass justification <laughs> thinking a six-year-old wouldn't bitch about losing his game boy <laughs> oh yeah he would absolutely start yelling and screaming at his mom to double back oh rip actually the the irony is like the black half in him was holding back the dominican side mm, mm. <laughs> Probably honestly, no, the, the Dominican, Dominican side was the one that wanted to steal it right away. <laughs> the Dominican side wanted to steal it right away and then run out and stab the kid. <laughs> Jesus, honestly, just yeah, <laughs> yeah, just to make sure that they, you know, just to make sure they weren't coming back for it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you miss your Game Boy? Not anymore. <laughs> <laughs> you miss your fucking liver, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, 
he, he was playing a different game that day, Subaru Red. <laughs> <laughs> Dominicans are just born out the gate, either fucking chaotic evil or gay. <laughs> <laughs> so basically, just chaotic evil. Yeah. <laughs> Most are just a combination of the two. I feel like this podcast would be chaotic good. I think that's why we all vibe. Yeah. This is a chaotic good podcast. I like that. Oh yeah. no, I'm a bad person. <laughs> yeah, no. I definitely feel I was like this... gonna let you guys say that, but I I always test neutral evil, and I, I don't mean. Thought, to... Yeah, <laughs> I think this... I'm a good person though. But I would assume that everyone here and everyone all... that we've had as a guest regulates from chaotic good to chaotic evil. I'm not gonna no. say who's who, but who would why be won't chaotic you name evil? Names? I want to know who's who. Who would be chaotic evil? Our send Larp says chaotic evil, but deep down, he... that's the thing. He's a softie. Yeah, yeah no way. Yeah. <laughs> That is true. <laughs> Even Mick, who's only met him once, knows he's a <laughs> so by the By the fourth time he told me he loved me, I kind of got clued in. I was like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> So, would, okay, would Jules be chaotic neutral or true neutral? Jules, Jules, true neutral. Jules would just Jules be a evil. giant no. question mark on the whole fucking alignment chart. Yeah, because like, Jules might be the evil one because Jules is like aligned with like the fucking man, bro. He's like, he's in the, he has a CIA connection. He's like fucking. Jules. Hanging out with fucking Ryan Singer. Jules is like neutral evil, LARPing as um as a uh, lawful good. Yes, exactly. Um, honestly, true, him. accurate. Yeah. yeah, that's the best way. He's not chaotic evil. No, he's, he's absolutely neutral evil. He's not like a. Yeah, he's yeah. neutral evil, LARPing as lawful good. Dude, he fucking he tagged me in some shit today that, of course, never makes any sense at all. I responded so. <laughs> Uh, Charles tweeted out, when's Robin Williams going to do another movie? And I replied, I think he's doing Skinamax now. And then Jules replies with a, a post from the New York Post. That, the New York <laughs> Post tweet says, Draymond Green wants to get rid of Black History Month. And what Jules said is, make Black History Month about things like Kitchen Confidential, Elden Ring being a hard game, and August Rush. And then the fuck is wrong Jules said another reply saying, Jokes aside, Black History Month could evolve into the study into studying the CDC Tusky experiments, MK Ultra, Operation Paperclip, and the Mount uh, wa- and the Washington Monument, etc. With a link to a YouTube video titled <laughs> "Morgan Freeman Silences 60 Minutes Host by Insulting Black History Month." I gotta say, I really don't know what you're confused about. I've, I've followed all that perfectly. <laughs> yeah, I personally don't. Cool. I personally don't like Robin Williams in movies. I feel like he always chokes. <laughs> <laughs> That's fucked up, man. Hey, listen. He was a comedian. Come on, Terrence. Don't leave me hanging. Who am I? Robin Williams? <laughs> Jesus Christ. You're a moral compass, Darren. That's what it is. You're here for the moral center of the uh, of the podcast. Terrence, That's what is, I am. Terrence is here to be disappointed like he's not as bad as everybody else yeah, in the yeah. call. <laughs> Yeah, Ter- Terrence is lawful neutral, and then we'll fucking like try and LARP as like neutral good. Then when he gets drunk, he becomes chaotic evil. That oh, that depends. No, he's definitely lawful evil. He cares way too fucking much about rules. <laughs> I've played <laughs> enough video games with Terrence at this point to know that oh, everything shut the is fuck by the up. fucking book. I'm Terrence sorry, is- <laughs> I want to play the fucking game. Terrence it's by the book, and he wrote when he's the drunk. Book. <laughs> Do you want to play a game? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> the funny part is he'll actually kill you if you fuck up too. So it's really like Jigsaw. I was just thinking when you guys are saying that there's a drunk version, like that immediately made me think of Sam. Like I think she's like chaotic evil when she's yeah, when she's drunk. Yes. Absolutely, hundred percent. Sam is very like they're two completely different persons. It, it's mm-hmm. literally so if, just if you a have a square person. right, and then you have like chaotic evil here. Sam's chaotic evil. <laughs> <laughs> like, I thought, I thought, it. I thought drunk Sam was like really fun up until like a week and a half ago, <laughs> and then I had a life changing experience. <laughs> Tell us about that, man. <laughs> right. So, so the night went as a uh, most nights at the Healy household usually go, which is by about eleven thirty, James was asleep. <laughs> <laughs> Grandpa's got to go to bed, guys. <laughs> and, it's funny because eleven thirty is the exact time I passed out. You always pass out eleven thirty. Usually, what happens is you pass out eleven thirty, and then you wake up at, at like four a.m. when everyone's still there. 
I really, I really wish that had happened this time, but no, James, because he didn't really like pass out from being drunk more so than he was just like got up at some point. And he's like, I'm mm. going to go to bed. I was like, oh, all right, cool. And he's like, yeah, you can hang if you want. So I was like, I mean, fuck, it's going to take me like three and a half hours to get home. So I'll, I'll hang out, whatever. Mm -hmm. it's, so Sam at this point has like recently woken up like within the last five to six <laughs> hours so she's full of energy she's drinking i'm drinking it is what it is we get like plastered drunk and then by like 3 30 4 o'clock in the morning i go to sleep i'm like I, I can't do this anymore like i gotta i gotta knock i knock on the couch at eight o'clock in the morning i feel something and i'm like what what the fuck is going on and I opened my eyes to see Sam biting my elbow <laughs> and asking me, do you want to do another shot? <laughs> to which I reply, excuse me, uh, ma'am, but it's tomorrow. And, and, <laughs> and what ensued was about an hour and a half fucking quest on three hours of sleep, waking up like hungover, feeling gross, trying to drag her back into the bedroom to be like, you need to go to bed. Uh, it yeah, was really she's, uh... awesome. She broke every shot glass on the table. <laughs> the coffee table at some point was on its side. And I was like, that's not how that's supposed to be. Wait, was uh, it? Oh, yeah. She just could not stand up. It was like, I have no idea. Because I went to bed at 4 a.m. And she woke me up at 8. That's four hours of her just unaccounted drinking. Just <laughs> oh, my God. No tar that's... wrangler in sight. You need to have no idea wrangler. what happened. Um, but I think my favorite part was the second time that I got her into the bedroom and had closed the door. I went back to lay down and I was like, oh, good. Cause I had, I had a fucking gig that day too. So I was like, it'll be great. I'll be able to catch like an hour extra of sleep and then I'll be good for tonight. Uh, and about 15 minutes into me falling back asleep, I opened my eyes again. Cause I felt like the whole couch moving. And then I looked over to see that Sam had wedged herself in the space in between the couch and the <laughs> coffee table. Meaning that she got like up like a cat. Yeah, like she got up out of bed, out of the bedroom, came back outside, and then laid back down on the fucking floor for no reason. For for absolutely no reason. Um, Did she even come into, like, our bedroom, or was she, like, in, like, her room? No, no, no. I, I got her into your... I didn't even know there was a separate bedroom. I got yeah. her into your bedroom. I yeah. was like... Well, the, is... the middle room, which is where, like, her makeup it's her closet. is. And... Yeah, oh, it's no, her closet. no, no, no. <laughs> yeah, it's essentially no. a walk-in closet. No, it's like, well, James, it, it's like it, once you said that middle room, I could just literally smell the cat litter. Immediately <laughs> that. No, I mean, I mean, that morning, that morning, that day essentially started with me having to like physically lift her and bring her into the bedroom because no matter what I would do, I she wanted context. to hear nothing other than I would need to take another shot. Out Which of is context, like, that sounds so bad. Like you're trying to take James's fiance in into his bed. <laughs> okay. For context, into his bedroom where James is asleep. Yeah, yeah. Because yeah. I'm like, you don't need this clipped out of context. <laughs> yeah, no. Because the whole time I was like, I was like, because I'll be, I'll be honest. At like seven thirty, eight o'clock in the morning, I was like, I want to fucking call him and be like, can you come out <laughs> and get your fiance? I, he would not have woken up. This is like not. I don't know what I'm supposed to do in this scenario. <laughs> Honestly, at that point, I I just would have left. Yeah, See, you I sometimes like gotta. I, I feel like I couldn't do that because she was too belligerently drunk. I was like, she needs to be <laughs> annoying inside so that he can wake up and be like, mm -hmm. let me take care of this. Because yeah. if I had just left her, there's no shot that she would not have, like, she would have kept drinking. Like I have on multiple occasions there. had to leave her, like, just drunk. Like, or, like, had to get, like, the, like, let's say there's, like, five people awake, and, like, she's one of them, she's a belligerent. I'm like, okay, the, the four of us, we're going to, like, we're gonna have like, like she's gonna go in the bathroom. We're just we're gonna we're gonna disappear. <laughs> <Just hold on>. <laughs> <laughs> we, gotta, we gotta go real quick. Yeah, no, yeah. it's great. I feel like I feel like I got back from fucking Fallujah. It's, it's just awesome. <laughs> Damn, Sam's just out there playing Sims Four with her nude mods. No clue that she's just getting dragged. To hell <laughs> she's okay. She's just not getting dragged. I've had multiple experiences with drunk Sam, and I will say this is the only one that's been in to, like. I'd say that's right, right? Like a one, in, it's like a one in six dice roll. Nah, nah, nah he, like one in three dice roll. Apparently, I failed <laughs> She's my. She's poking her I, head in. I failed my charisma saving throw. I'm sorry. You failed. She's the, mad yeah. at me already, so it's okay. You failed the her, her intuition. Throw. Her woman intuition is kicking in. No, she we're knows. just so fucking loud. Fucking, that she can hear us. Her, her ears roll are twelve or higher. You know. 
and you go well, see she, it's funny because i i was making fun of her the other day because she never fucking listens to my podcast ever and only watches That's probably for the best honestly yeah and she's got to yeah. listen now <laughs> yeah and only watches videos when i force her to and she was like i don't need to listen to the podcast i can hear you screaming the whole thing from the living room you got a point that's true I tell my girlfriend, don't listen to anything. She's just ever. flipping me off and now like closing the door slowly. I say, don't listen to anything I do. That's, <laughs> that's the best way. That's the best way. To, this is going to work out. This will work out the best if you don't listen to any of my work. Yeah. Any of my, don't read anything I write. Just like pretend it doesn't exist. Child molesters, every time after they commit a crime, they say no chomo. <laughs> <laughs> no chomo. <laughs> So I'm I'm officially dubbing this the beginning of season four because we now have this is our new crew for the podcast because our sends retired, whatnot, and uh, Brittany will be reoccurring whenever she has the time essentially because she j- does a million other things. Uh, Mick is our sends replacement. MKUltramoney.gumroad.com. Get the full uncut episode there. Listen to Verse and Lucas podcast. Boom. Listen to Brittany Venti streams and whatnot and subscribe to her on YouTube. And uh, and I have nothing to promote. <laughs> and Terrence and Mick, keep grinding away for me. Thank you. <laughs>